Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. It's time to say goodbye to my old catch box. I bought it like three and a half years ago and uh, it's made from solid steel and I even doubled up the backside. But look how many hits it got in between. And then close the whole thing again. And now it's really gone. Even the table is wrecked. So it's time to make a new one. This is my new one. It's made from wood, but I fortified everything with the rubber. And that's the thick butyl type rubber. It's not latex. This is about like a uh, deflated car tire. This means that it protects the wood perfectly well, but the ricochets are very harmless. It soaks up all the energy. Every little piece of the surface has been protected by it. Also, I hung down stripes from the material down here so that I don't need cardboard anymore. And um, also notice that the floor is angled towards the hole here so that all the balls will automatically drop into the drawer that I put in here. Behind the rubber there is uh, old t-shirts and they absorb the rest of the energy that the bullets still have once they passed the rubber strips. This is how you can hang up your targets. So she gave me a puppet. <laughs> I hope that I will never hit it because otherwise my wife might be very angry. <laughs> this is a slingshot that I just made. It's from an old dead walnut limb that I cut off in our garden. It's polycoated, therefore it will never rot anymore. Did you notice how silent it is? It's one of the advantages. So far I'm very pleased with it. I hope that it's going to last as long as the old metal one. And that's going to go in the trash now. So, thanks and bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>